So I'm just going to show you a couple of things on the Audi heating system. Um, the first part is where we can bleed air out of the radiator system itself. This is the bleed valve and we've got a little nipple that just sticks uh, protrudes beyond the radiator just there. Get a tissue of some sort, open up the bleed valve. You're going to see water come out there. There it is. Just catch any of the fluid that runs out and that's it. Basically we have got the air out of that particular radiator. As you can quite easily see, this is a pink solution again. It's not the toilet fluid this time. This is a antifreeze solution that's in the Audi system itself. Uh, it's not quite a sealed system. What I'm referring to, uh, yes, there is a reservoir and it's got a, a certain amount of fluid in that head, in that reservoir head, but it does evaporate. If it was a sealed system like you have in a car, you don't find the fluid actually evaporates that quickly. But on this type of radiator system that we have here, the fluid in use does evaporate. So be aware of it because it does need topping up. So I'm going to just move over to where the reservoir is, which is in the wardrobe location just next door to this particular area I'm in now. So we can quite clearly see now that this is the Audi reservoir. And we can see this pink fluid again that I'm referring to. OK, so uh, we have got the heating system working. Normally, uh, you do this test when it's when it's cold, before it's been heated up. You can see a minimum level there, and you can see a maximum level there. So this fluid at the moment is above that maximum level. Don't worry about that, because what happens when the, heat, when the system's heated, it does expand. Where we need it to be when it's cold is one small finger's width above that minimum level. So roughly a centimeter, just over a centimeter above the minimum level is where the fluid needs to be when it's cold before you've used it. Because we've got this system in uh, use, it's now expanded, uh, which is what this is. It's a breather pipe. It allows that for that expansion to take place. Um, and obviously that's uh, levels now changed slightly. There's a second pipe that you might be able to see, which is just on the top right hand side of the reservoir. It's just there. Yeah. And that's just the overflow. So basically if this system was filled up to its maximum level for some reason, you haven't done it correctly, uh, any excess fluid would run out onto the floor, uh, underneath the caravan, onto the ground, and uh, yeah, just dissipates away from there. The only other thing you need to be aware of is say it's not a sealed unit, so it does need topping up with fluid from time to time. When it does need topping up, get the appropriate Audi solution, preferably a G13 compatible product. That means it's compatible with aluminium use. Uh, most of the pipe work in the, in the caravans, the radiator and things like that are of an aluminium nature. So this chemical here needs to be an aluminium quality. Uh, you just pour a certain amount of fluid into there via a watering can or whatever you may have handy uh, and uh, top it up to the appropriate level as I've previously mentioned, about a finger's width above the minimum level. Just do that as a hand tight item and that is the fluid on the Audi system that's going through all the radiators and the radiators all have bleed valves. So I've only shown you one on this particular model, but just be aware there are other bleed valves on all the radiators. Thank you.